Yo, what is good, YouTube? Welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're doing gameplay with the brand new Playoff Evo Diamond Jared Vanderbilt. Now, generally, I wouldn't do a, 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 a gameplay on a diamond card, but number one, this Jared Vanderbilt when Evo it actually looks really, really solid. And number two, I. I like the guy. I like him a lot. My cousin played basketball with him in AAU. I know this is a stupid reason, but my cousin played for Baylor in Illinois over the past few years in uh, D1 and played with Jared Vanderbilt on Houston Hoops uh, in AAU. So I like Jared Vanderbilt a lot. I've been a fan of his for a long time. Very, very cool to see him performing well in the playoffs and uh, getting a card that I actually think is going to be a pretty solid card. Obviously, he's a little undersized to power forward, only 6'9", but I want to try the card out, see how he does, and I'm sure a lot of my Lakers fans out there are interested in this card as well. But before we hop into the video, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards the 11,000 subscriber mark on the channel. I upload every single day. I would really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe. But without further ado, let's hop right into it. See what Jared Vanderbilt is looking like. So, JV, 6'9", like I said, 89 offense, 99 defense, but his stats are pretty good. 92 driving layup, 92 close shot, 88 midi, 89 three ball, 95 driving dunk, 85 standing dunk, 86 ball handle, 98 block, 94 interior, 95 perimeter, 92 steel makes him an incredible defender. 95 speed and excel is really good. 94 speed with ball. 94 lateral hookness as well so statistically he's incredible for a diamond seven hoffs but they're all good ones limitless takeoff post or corner specialist clamp breaker quick first step anchor and clamp so seven really good hall of fame badges obviously that number of hoffs is not great at this point in the year but he's also got gold bully fast twitch catch and shoot guard up bailout break starter handles for days unpluckable ankle braces challenger chase down artist glove interceptor pick dodger post lockdown pogo stick workhorse and rebound chaser badges to add to him he's missing a couple i would say rise up agent three uh, a couple shooting badges maybe a limitless range for sure would be one that i would add outside of that probably brick wall and that's about it so a couple shooting badges as well as brick wall maybe rise up would be the ones to add to Ver vanderbilt if you do want to badge him out and use the card now i'm interested to see how good he really can be that's my main thing with this card i don't know how great his stakes are going to be i think they gave him chris paul escape which i don't think is a bad escape but it's not like my favorite escape it's not as good as a trey escape or a john wall escape but it's not a horrible escape his release is interesting i actually think it's kind of good um it's not super fast but it's definitely quick enough and smooth enough i think his base is really good his upper is not amazing i think that's what slows down the release a little bit but that's okay uh he does have a really nice player but at 6'9 looks at least 6'9 if not bigger uh his hair definitely gives him an extra inch or so i would say in terms of height and i do like the release i mean i'm liking what i'm seeing out of him so far i think he's got quick drops so he's got really nice animations uh his escape is seems nice does he have tray fade what fade is that? Is that trade fade? I'm not even totally sure what fade he has. Uh, I think he's, no, he's got normal fade. I'm bugging. Uh, but still, I'll take normal fade. That's definitely a good fade. For some reason, I thought he had trade fade, but I don't know. Uh, overall, I mean, he's he's looking like he's going to be able to create a little bit. Going to be a solid offensive card. Going to be a really, really good defensive card. I wish he could play small forward. That's my biggest thing with this card. If he was a nice, he'd be a really good budget small forward. But unfortunately, as a power forward center, I think he's going to be a little bit more limited in terms of what he can do on the court because he's a bit undersized and with how many super tall cards we have. But if you were to run him next to a guy like a big z at the three or somebody with a lot of size where they can guard the four they can guard the five i think it gives you the versatility to run this type of card and have a lot of success with him if you do want to run him on your team if you're a lakers fan a timberwolves fan something like that like i am but hopefully y'all enjoyed this video um let's hop into a game let's see what jared vanderbilt can do all right, hopping into this game. Our opponent's team, I don't think it's very good. I see Allen Iverson at the two. I see Julius Randle at the four, which is not a great card. He's not horrible, but he's not amazing. Size up here. Let's see if we can get the normal fade off. Oh, he actually got a really nice contest there with his big. But Yao's going to get the rebound. Blow right by Jay. I was thinking I could blow by AI. I might just be able to go baseline. I was going to try to go baseline on AI, but we draw the foul there. That's okay. But yeah, this dude's team's not that good. I mean, Damian Lillard and AI as your backcourt is definitely very, very undersized. With that being said, though, I mean, we definitely can't, can't judge a book off its cover hit the pop here drag back see if we can attack baseline jv all the way to the rim he's an elite slasher and he's going to throw it down in the first possession gets himself a dunk nice start for mr vanderbilt go blitz the ball yes sir jared yes sir i told you all he's going to be a defensive card that's his best attribute is going to be his defense and i run into a bump that's totally my fault look at jv i know that wasn't even really him but he he finds a way to be in the be in the right position gets himself a stop uh and pump fake go up yes sir jv nice mash i thought i was going to make that that's my fault chill hit the pick and roll here we go yes sir he's sitting paint hit it to jv jv and he'll catch and lay it in beautiful so four points to start us off as well as two steals the second one was kind of a fluke steal but i'll take it just like in real life jared vanderbilt finding a way to be in the right position at the right time to make a play for his team beautiful stuff watch this help out the corner help rotate there get back up ak hand beautiful stuff good defense he doesn't have time to get that off i knew it he didn't have time and he wasn't gonna make it anyway because yeah was in there giving us a paint presence but 
Four to two lead so far. Let's see if we can get Vanderbilt a three off the catch and shoot. That would be really, really nice if he'd help off the pop just a little bit on this possession. Size up. Good move. He'd help down, go downhill, hit the corner. He's not helping off the pop in the slightest. Chill on me, man. Yes, sir. Beautiful attack here. Go baseline all the way. Get inside. Jared Vanderbilt standing on beautiful stuff. Got baseline on Julius Randle. Got himself a bucket. And that is a nice six points on the game. I haven't been able to get him the three ball yet, but that is a okay. Good defense by Hedo. Stay in front, JV. I'm not worried about that matchup. Yes, sir. I told y'all I'm not worried about it. He can hold his own defensively. The only guys I'm worried, really worried about him guarding at the power forward position. Good attack as well. He does get taken out of the dunk, but he's going to draw a foul and go to the free throw line. Really, the only guys I'm worried about him at the power forward position guarding are guys who are 7 2, 7 3. Guys like Kareem and KP. Obviously, a taco at the four. Like, he's just not going to have the size to compete against those types of cards. But against smaller fours, he's going to be totally fine on the defensive end. In fact, he's going to shine on the defensive end. That's going to be one of his strongest points for sure and he's got eight points right now so he's playing really really well on the offensive end as well hit it to him again Let's see if we can get ourselves another three that's enough space i don't think he's going to get back in it with brandon ingram either he doesn't get back in time to get a contest and jv knocks down the three 11 points on the game and he's got lock take good defense let's go t-mac push the ball swing it over to jared yes sir size up chill escape drag back attack this way normal fade me jared vanderbilt for three. Oh my gosh he is freaking hoping right now 14 points for Jared Vanderbilt, doing it efficiently as well. Type of performance that you absolutely love to see. Playing his butt off in this game on both ends of the court right now. And T-Max playing his butt off on defense as well. Good defense. Get a contest. Don't foul. Beautiful. We're going to leak out and transition again. Vanderbilt ahead of the pack all the way to the rim. Chill. Chill. Relax. Beautiful. Reset the ball. We're good. Get inside. Hit it out to Jared. Yes, sir. This is a mismatch. We're going to go baseline here again. We're going to attack. AI, you can't stay in front of him. AI is too little. Yes, sir. Jared Vanderbilt getting past him laying it in again this card is playing incredibly for a diamond that should have been a steal especially with lock tech i feel like i should get that steal but it's all right good defense that's not going in either we are absolutely dogging him out right now all the way chow oh, bad catch if he gets a good catch there he's going to get himself another dunk blow by hey quick drop me yes sir jared vanderbilt too quick for julius randall this card can do it all right now. I mean, he can literally do no wrong. He's got 18 points. He is scoring every single possession pretty much at will. Pushing the ball up the court again. Get inside. Swing it out to him. We're good. Reset. Yes, sir. Stop. Go. Jared all the way. Attack through again. Jared Vanderbilt. You're too little, AI. He, he got a paint stop there. That's crazy. I know you're tired, Jared, but we got to finish that one. That's tough. That's his first bad possession, though. Really pretty much in the game. I mean, he is playing his butt off. You got a lock take. I think he can play a lot of things. We're good. We're going to leak out and transition again. Jared Vanderbilt, Euro step. I was going to try to Euro step dunk there. He get, does draw a foul. He's going to go to the free throw line. And that's going to be the game. Just a dominant performance by Jared Vanderbilt. I understand my opponent wasn't that good and his team wasn't great, but that was really impressive. Let's hop back into the main menu and let's review the card. All right, so in conclusion, Jared Vanderbilt, he's not a competitive level small forward. He's too small for that, and his release, while good, is not insane. He's a fun card, though, and he dunks the ball really well. He defends his butt off. He moves pretty well. He's fast. He's a really, really fun card to use the power forward position. Definitely one of the best diamond cards in my team, and definitely a very, very fun card to use if you're a Lakers fan, a Timberwolves fan, that type of guy, and want to use this type of card. He is a really, really nice card for themed teams and things like that. Love seeing these types of players get usable options in my team and uh, this is definitely a usable option like this card is really really good for a diamond but hopefully y'all did enjoy the video if you did make sure you hit that like button leave a comment and subscribe i'll be back with more 2k content very very soon and i appreciate y'all peace